Yo, what is up guys? Me Graffiti here and I just wanted to bring y'all a tutorial on how to add or remove weapons from the mystery box. Um, I already recorded this tutorial and I posted it on my YouTube, but I guess it doesn't have any sound. So this is actually me uh, remaking it for y'all. So hopefully this one actually has sound, um, but let's just get right into it. So before we start, I got two things to explain. So there's one way we could do this which is going to affect all the maps, all your zombie maps is mystery box weapons. Or the second way we can do this is how to affect the mystery box weapon in map Pacific. So let's say you want the thunder gun in one map, but you don't want the thunder gun in the other map, that I'm gonna show you how to do that. But if you want the thunder gun in all maps, I can show you how to do that as well, and you don't have to do the extra stuff that I'm going to have to do and you can click off this tutorial after we finish the first part of it. So the first part we're wanting to do is we want to actually find our root folder for our Black Ops 3. So that should be somewhere under your program files and Steam apps. So once you find it, here it is, it's called Share. So you open it up, there's going to be three folders. You want to go to your raw, and then you want to find game data. Once you find data, you want to find weapons, open up weapons, ZM, and then here it is. This is all your weapons that go through all the zombie maps in the box. So if you notice um, lately that they just added a new update to the beta where they fixed the box weapons where it has every weapon from uh, Shadows of Evil to Revelations. Um, even, the sh even the gravity spikes are in here, but they're just turned off. And I can actually show you how to get all that turned on or turned off in your map. So if you don't want your thunder gun in there, you don't have to have the thunder gun. And the reason why I'm showing this, because a lot of people don't know how to do this, it's pretty confusing. And sometimes some of these, all these weapons that are in the box right now can really make your map super overpowered and uh, they can get to really high rounds when actually you're trying to make a complex map and trying to have them last longer. So no matter what your map looks like, you're always getting fucked. So, now that we're here and we have our CSV file, all you want to do is have that script editor that I tell you to, uh, that you want to open up. So either note, Notepad++ or Sublime. I use Sublime, it's a lot better, but with Sublime you're going to have to, you're gonna have to do, find a tutorial to make it read GNC, GSC, which is actually super easy. Just go check out Jaybird's channel for that. So when you open up your, your CSV file for the first time, it's going to be super confusing and you're going to see... Um, all of this so what these true false numbers and all that so how to uh, figure out what everything is it's there is an index and the index is in the first column so if you check the first column right here we have the weapon name a comma and then a uh, weapon upgrade name comma and cost and so on and so forth if you look right here com the under the first comma it says pistol or it will say ray gun um, like right here ray gun or ray gun upgraded so that's how you figure out what the index is so what you want to do is you want to find the column that it's in so under uh, I mean comma under the comma that it's under so the comma is right here inbox you're looking for the inbox comma so count whatever the commas are until you get here I believe it's nine but that really doesn't matter um, uh, because I'm pretty sure that all of the one all of the weapons that spawn in the box the inbox column is always the very first true or false uh, in the start of the line of the true false tr and, and so on and so forth so here's the thunder gun so let's say I don't want the thunder gun see how it says true that means it's in the box right now but if I were to put make sure it's all caps type in false that means it's no longer in the box so if I, no matter what I do right now, if I go to any map, it will not be in the box at all. So now let's say you want it to be, uh, let's say you wanted to add a weapon that's in here, but it's not in your box. So like one's right here, the gravity spikes. The gravity spikes are not in there normally because it said false. So you would delete the false and turn it to cap true. So boom, kind of boom, done. You're done and if you want to you can click off the tutorial right now and that's how you get weapons out uh, in, in your map so I'm just gonna undo everything that I did and I'm gonna show y'all what to do next so yeah 
So let's just exit out of this and we're back in that same file that we were just at. So you want to actually uh, copy this file. So just right click and click copy or control C and you want to add it to a backup folder. So right here somewhere and I just put it inside of a text document. Um, once you actually copy that over you then want to go into your uh, let's go back to where we were at uh, now we're here we want to go back to our Black Ops 3 root file so now that we have that in our copy uh, so we could paste it what we want to do is we want to go to user maps cryogenic spa or whatever your map name is so ZM map underscore map name so mine's spa so I go here and you're only going to see five files. The only files that's not going to be there is the game data. So what you want to do is you want to add the game data to your right here uh, into your here as a folder. So just click add new folder. So once you do that, you want to add another folder inside of it called weapons. And then inside of the weapons folder, you want to add another one called ZM. And that's the last folder that you need to make. So then once you open up ZM, it's going to be blank, of course, because it's a new folder. You just want to paste that weapons file, that CSV file, back into here. Now, this is how you make it map specific. So now that we have pasted it in here, and let's say we wanted the gravity spike, all we would have to do is change it from false to true, which I've already done that, but for purposes, we'll just do it again. So true, boom. And then you would just click File, Save, and then you're done with that portion but now when you do that it's not going to register into your map it, 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 what you're going to have to do now is you're actually going to have to go into your scripts so go back to your user maps click on your map name and then go to game uh, instead of game data you want to go to your scripts so and then go under the scripts zm and then there should be a CSV and then a GSC uh, file. So if you've done any scripting, you should know where these are. So once you open up your GSC file, here it is, you're going to want to find your function, custom add weapons, and then under this little mark right here, I can't think of the name right now, but right under it, you're going to want to copy and paste what I have in my description, or you can just copy it from the screen and type it in yourself. But what this is doing right here, what this function is doing, is it's actually showing that your map Pacific is loading up this weapon data file instead of an instead of the default one that works for all maps. So that's about it, guys. If I were to load up the map right now, um, I should have no thunder gun in my box, and I should actually have the gravity spikes in there instead. So yeah, guys, if y'all like this, please leave a like, comment, and a sub. And if there's any other tutorials y'all would like me to do, um, then please leave in the description below. Or if y'all get any errors, I can try to help. Um, the next tutorial, hopefully, will be the tutorial on how to fix the gun sounds for these weapons because they are a little messed up. But um, like when you shoot them, you hear no sound. You only hear the, the impact sounds and stuff. So I'll try to figure out how to fix that out. And as soon as I do, I'll post a tutorial about it. So again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Keep on mapping and peace out.